I find it a unique circle that I've made. I think having the opportunity to grow up spending time here on Fisher's Island planted the wonderful seed to nurture my passion in the marine environment, marine mammals, marine science. No one had ever asked me to be a naturalist before and I think that I realized I perhaps was suited for such an activity. Learning how to live in the rhythm of the outdoors, whether it be the seasons or the weather or the timing of the day. I can tell you that the largest population of white egret can be found at Darby's Cove. <laughs> I can tell you that there's a returning kingfisher that habitates the oyster farm pond. Last week I got a phone call um, from an island resident saying there was over 400 spider crabs had migrated into Silver Eel Pond. Unfortunately, I, I miss documenting that, but I think it supports my desire or supports the idea that perhaps like a neighborhood watch, we could all be island sentinels and all contribute to some form of uh, natural history data collection which would help preserve and conserve our environment. I think I would love to look at Fisher's Island being able to grow up here and the time I'm spending on it now as a gift. What's solidified for me is the idea of how things have changed in the last 40 years uh, from when I was growing up here. For someone like myself to return to an environment after these years and see how there is now a depletion in fish species or a lack of marine habitat, what Fish is On has given to me then is a better respect and better awareness of how, whether we want to call it climate change or just evolving time, how things do change and we probably need to take better and more aware steps for conservation. And I think I would say Fisher's Island definitely nurtured my love for conservation.